Joy 99.7 FM, taking you closer to heaven.
Thank you, Father. This morning we honor your name. We bless your name. This morning we give you the glory and the praise and the honor and all the adoration. 31st of March, 2021, the year of our Lord. This morning we acknowledge your faithfulness and your goodness and your kindness. This morning we worship your name. We bless your name. You are too faithful to fail. This morning we have returned to give you all the praise and all the glory. Seen us through the month of March, the last day of this month. We are grateful, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. We honor your name. We adore you, oh God. We celebrate your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This morning, you want to lift up your voice wherever you are. The last day of this month of March 2021, you want to thank the Lord, first of all, for the gift of life. For counting you and I among the living. That the grace of God is what has sustained and kept and preserved us. Therefore, this morning we have returned to give him the glory and the praise and the honor.
Thank you, Father. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. This morning we have come to say, Yeshenia, why ya? I was saying, they was Sida, was Sida Mount. He had like him that I'm on a one night about one night, him that I'm on a one night about one drum that I'm on a one day about one night, him that I'm on a one day about and you want like him that I'm on a one night about one night, him that I'm on a one night about. Don't close your mouth, let it flow, let it flow, let the thanksgiving flow to the Lord this morning. Give him the praise and the glory and the honor, give him all the adoration. The last day of the month of March, exalt the name of the Lord. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Give him the glory, give him the praise, give him all the honor, give him all the adoration. That's what we are doing for the next few minutes. The last day of the month of March, we have returned to give him all the praise, all the glory. Thank him for the month of March. From the 1st of March, today is the 31st of March. Tomorrow is a new month. Lift your voice and appreciate the Lord. Give him the glory. Just sing along. It's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. Just sing along as we prepare for prayer this morning. I come before you today. There's just one thing that I want to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
for all you've given to me. For all the blessings that I cannot see. The blessings I cannot see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, 
thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. We glorify your name. We honor your name this morning. We bless your name this morning. Oh, just thank the Lord. On the last day of the month of March, appreciate the Lord this morning. This morning we are grateful. Lord, we celebrate your faithfulness and your goodness. Lord, we celebrate your goodness and your mercies and your kindness towards us. Oh, blessed be the Lamb of God. Died and resurrected triumphantly on the third day. This morning we ascribe all glory and praise and honor to your holy name. Thank you for the saints of God across the nations of the world. Thank you for the believers that are gathered, oh God, praying all over the nations of the world. This morning let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. This morning we say thank you. The last day of this month of March we have come to say thank you. We bow before your presence and we say you deserve the glory you deserve the praise and the honor and all the adoration lord receive all the praise yet that was you we thank you father we honor your name we bless your name we glorify your name oh dazalagadasha de ibaba we have come to say thank you father we honor you father we bless you father we glorify you thank you for your love thank you for the message that you have shown us oh god Thank you for the blood. Thank you for your spirit you have granted unto us. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the provisions and the protections and the preservation. Lord, even the things you are doing that we cannot see, we have come to say thank you. We have come to ascribe all the glory back to your name. We bless your name this morning. We honor your name this morning. Yet that was your Oh, who has come to say thank you? Zero five five one 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 nine nine seven. Lord, Equia Asante, Geraldine Eira Baktaga, Dela Equia. Adi have come to say thank you. Daniel Ni Adi says thank you. Samuel says thank you. We have all come to say thank you. Richard and Eugenia and Rafin. We have come to say thank you. Lord, blessed be your name this morning. Yeah, you are your yeah turn tomorrow. Chris and Doris, Mr. and Mrs. Kicha Belinda. They have all gathered this morning across the world they are saying thank you oh lord now nah, in Oka. hey god they are all saying thank you Dinah tego abin and shira jennifer aku jennifer okain grandma irene francesca mate oh they have come to say thank you lord we thank you we honor your name we bless your name bless the lord oh my soul and all that is in me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits oh thank you for the benefits that you have granted unto us. Oh, you redeem our life from destruction. You healeth all our diseases and sicknesses. You forgiveth all our sins. That is why we have come to say thank you. Thank you for the supply. Thank you for the provision. Thank you for the grace that you have granted unto us. Thank you for the mercies of God. Lift your voice and appreciate the Lord. A glorified the name of the Lord. Honor the name of the Lord. Celebrate the faithfulness of God. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. The last day of the month of March, we are lifting our voices and our hands and we say you deserve it, O oh God. 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 The songwriter said, You have done so much. We cannot tell it all. Lift your voice and appreciate the Lord. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the praise. He deserves all the honor. He deserves all the adoration. We are not in a hurry at all. The one that heareth prayer is the one we are giving thanks. And Jesus said, That were not ten of you cleansed. How come? it is 
only one who has returned to give glory to the Father. Who is the one who has returned to give glory to the Father? For the one thing that the Lord has done for you, that you have returned to give glory to the Father. Lift your hands, lift your voice wherever you are. The same things you have been through, others went through and they could not survive. The same challenges you are going through, others went through and they couldn't survive. But the grace of God has sustained you and I. The grace of God has preserved you and I. Oh, we give him thanks. We give him glory. We give him all the honor. We give him all the adoration. Lift your voice and magnify the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord. Glory, 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 glory to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lord. He has done so much for us. We cannot tell it all. Lift your voice and appreciate the Lord.
Thank you, Father. Lord, you have done so much for us. On the last day of this month of March, we have come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you. Blessed be your name. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let somebody shout, Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is good. The Lord is kind. The Lord is merciful. Thank you, Spirit of God. You know, we are still praying within the parameters of the commemoration of the, the Lord's sacrifice and his resurrection and, and, and ascension. And we are praying within the revelations of what Christ came to accomplish for you and I. And we are teaching along those lines. I hope yesterday we began on a good note. And so we are splitting the time after prayer, then we get into the Word. It is very, very important. So I want you to really get yourself involved in the prayer. In this season, take advantage. There is a stirring of the waters. There's a stirring. The waters are being stirred. The pool is being troubled. And anyone that jumps into it, you receive that expectation of yours. By your power, you heal by your power. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You deliver by your power. Hallelujah. You formed a baby without a womb. You divided the Red Sea by the breath of your nostrils. You are the God of power. This morning, we're going to pray. You never, never know and we're going to say, by the blood of Jesus, I silence the voice of guilt, the voice of condemnation, the voice of accusation, the voice of inferiority complex, and I establish my righteousness consciousness in the name of the Lord Jesus I silence the voice of guilt by the blood of Jesus I silence the voice of condemnation the voice of accusation the voice of inferiority complex and I establish my righteousness consciousness in the name of the Lord Jesus Write the scriptures down as you are praying that you are making references to them. First John chapter 1 verse 9. First John chapter 1 verse 9. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Romans chapter 5 verse 1. John chapter 8, the verse number 11. John chapter 8, the verse number 11. Then Philippians chapter 3, the verse number 9. So Philippians 3 verse 9, Paul said, And be found in him, not having my own righteousness which is of the law, but the righteousness which is by faith in Christ. There is the righteousness which is of the law. That righteousness is called filthy rags. But the righteousness which is by faith in Christ is what is available for you and I. In John 8 verse 11, and the woman, Jesus asked the woman, nobody has condemned you. He said, no, so I also do not condemn you. Go and sin no more. 
Romans chapter 5 verse 1 he said therefore being justified being made righteous by faith we have peace with God Romans 8 verse 1 he said now therefore there is no more condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life has made us free from the law of sin and death First John chapter 1 verse 9 for we have an advocate with the father that if we confess our sins is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness father by the blood of Jesus we silence the voice of guilt the voice of condemnation the voice of accusation the voice of inferiority complex and I establish my righteousness consciousness the name of the Lord Jesus I am I'm not guilty I'm acquitted and discharged by the blood of Jesus I cannot be condemned by the blood of Jesus I cannot be accused by the blood of Jesus I reject inferiority mentality and complex by the blood of Jesus lift your voice I'm going to pray right now Hey, you want my gun that I'm on a day, my bad one drum that I'm on a day, my bad. Hey, you want my gun. Hey, you want my gun now. Hey, you want my gun that I'm on a day, my bad one drum that I'm on a day, my bad. Hey, you want my gun that I'm on a day, my bad one drum that I'm on a day, my bad one my gun that I'm on a day, my bad. the voice of inferiority complex uh, for the accuser of the brethren has been cast down they overcame him by the blood of the lamb in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, we establish righteousness consciousness on the prayer altar this morning by the spirit of the living God we affirm our righteousness in Christ Jesus the consciousness the mentality of our righteousness consciousness in the name of the Lord Jesus we Break every power of guilt, every power of condemnation and accusations by the Spirit of the Living God in the name of Jesus. You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want to end that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want to end that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want to end that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want to end that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? You want to end that I'm in our day, Baba? You want that gum that I'm in our day, Baba? of a 
accusations and condemnations in the name of the Lord Jesus I break oh God every form of inferiority mindset and complex in the name of the Lord Jesus by the blood of Jesus I want you to pray with the blood the blood is the most powerful instrument in the kingdom of God the blood is our victory the blood is our defense by the blood of Jesus we break the power of guilt the power of condemnation every voice of accusations in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus we establish our righteousness consciousness we are born again by the blood we are saved by the blood we are redeemed by the blood our sins are cleansed by the blood in the name of the Lord Jesus the devil is a liar and you want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want to run that I'm in our day, Baba. You want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want to run that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. You want to run that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want that I'm in our day, Baba. You want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. You want to run that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. Run that I'm in our day, Baba. We divide the tongue this morning, the power of condemnation and guilt by the blood of Jesus. We destroy that voice in the name of the Lord Jesus. And you want that gun, no, Sadei, Baba. And you want to run that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. Run that I'm in our day, Baba. You want to run that I'm in our day, Baba. And you want that gun that I'm in our day, Baba. In Philippians chapter. Three, the verse number nine, and Paul said, and be found in Christ, and not having my own righteousness which is of the law, but the righteousness which is by faith in Christ, and the righteousness of faith in Christ speaketh after this manner. Say not in your heart who will ascend to heaven and bring Christ down, or who will go to the hells and bring Christ out. For what saith thou? The word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. Ah, the word of faith which we preach uh, that if thou shalt confess with your mouth and believe in your heart uh, it said thou shalt be saved uh, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, we are establishing righteousness mindset and consciousness on the prayer altar this morning uh, that we are righteous uh, and the righteousness of God in Christ uh, the nature of righteousness is our nature that by the redemptive work of Christ on the cross uh, it has been possible for God to transfer his nature to you and I that we are partakers of the nature of God the nature of righteousness the nature that allows us to stand in the presence of God without a sense of guilt a sense of condemnation and a sense of inferiority the nature that makes us children of God that God's DNA is our DNA that which gave birth to us is the seed of the Spirit of God that we are born of God we carry the life of God the nature of God it is a consciousness we need to have and on the prayer altar this morning we decree and we declare and we establish that we are established in righteousness in the promise of God you want that gun that I'm in our day you want that I'm in our day you want that gun that I'm in our day you want that gun that I'm in our day you want that gun that I'm in our day you want that gun that I'm in our day you want that gun that I'm in our day you want that gun that I'm in our day you want to speak to the devil and say you can no longer accuse me the blood is against you the blood is my defense the blood is my covering the 
days of sin consciousness is over in the name of the Lord Jesus he said I even I I am he O God that blots out thy sins and thy transgressions and thy iniquities I shall remember no more in the name of the Lord Jesus we break the power of condemnation the power of guilt the power of accusations the voice of inferiority complex and we establish our righteousness consciousness by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus are you sure you are praying at all and you want to come to the men of the God demonstrated his love towards you and I in that he made Christ died for us even when we did not deserve it how much more now that we have become children of God lift your voice and declare I am righteous and the righteousness of God in Christ it is a consciousness and a mentality you require it is a mindset you need to possess that you are righteous that is who you are you want to end in a day baba and the voice of inferiority complex I break that stronghold in the name of the Lord Jesus he said and to bring every knowledge that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ to bring it into captivity every stronghold of guilt the stronghold of accusations and condemnations that the enemy is capitalizing on in our soul by the blood of Jesus we break that stronghold in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit convince them and let it turn on 
and your sons and daughters uh, that they are righteous uh, they are still righteous uh, in spite of their weaknesses and their challenges uh, they are still righteous uh, the nature cannot change uh, they are still righteous uh, just as a man cannot change into a woman uh, and a woman cannot change into a man uh, so can we not change uh, from righteousness uh, into the nature of the devil uh, we are born again uh, we carry the nature of God uh, the nature of righteousness is our nature on the prayer altar this morning uh, we establish that mentality and that consciousness uh, and that thinking and that reasoning uh, that we are righteous uh, that you want to give the men of a day baba to Isaiah chapter 54 Isaiah chapter 54 there's a prophecy that Isaiah gave Isaiah 54 the verse number 14 And then the verse number 15. Isaiah 54, the verse number 14. Let's, let's, we are going to pray the verse number 13, the verse number 14, the verse number 15, the verse number 16 and 17. But we'll take it one at a time. So just keep your Bible there. So we are reading Isaiah chapter 54. We are going to pray the verse 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So the verse number 13. And all your children shall be taught by the Lord. They shall be taught by the Lord. And great shall be the peace of your children. All your children shall be taught by the Lord. And great shall be the effect of the teaching of the Lord. He said, great shall be the peace of your children. You know, peace is a spiritual virtue. Now, if your peace can be great, then your joy can also be great. Then your health can also be great. Then your destiny can also be great. Then your success can also be great. Then your prosperity can also be great. Is somebody getting the connection? But you will notice that he said, you shall be taught by the Lord. You know, if you go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, the verse number 17, we are using scripture to interpret scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, the verse number 17. The Bible says that now the Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Lord is the spirit. You cannot separate the Lord from the spirit. The Lord and the spirit is one. So when the Bible says that you will be taught of the Lord or by the Lord, he's saying that you will be taught by the spirit. The Holy Spirit is a teacher. You will be taught by the Holy Spirit. He said the effect is that great shall be the peace. 
peace, the joy, the favor, the prosperity, the success of your children. The teachings of the Lord have profitable benefit in the lives of the believers. So we are going to pray. The grace to walk in the light of the word of God. The grace to walk in the revelations of the spirit of God. The energy to adhere to the instructions of the spirit of God. The grace to walk in the light of the word of God. The grace to walk in the revelations that the spirit of God gives to us. The energy to adhere to the instructions of the word and the spirit of God. By my cooperation with the word of God, I am experiencing greatness in all areas of my life. By my cooperation with the word of God, by my working with the word of God, I am experiencing greatness in all areas of my life. Now, now, please understand that the way I generate the prayer is by inspiration. Okay, these are not prayer topics I have written in a book. Are <laughs> you getting a point? Uh, so, you can find it somewhere and write it quickly. Then you can be praying them consistently. Are you getting it? As we're just praying, the scripture just dropped in my spirit. That's why we are praying there. So, we are in the verse 13, Isaiah 54, verse 13. And your children shall be taught by the Lord. And I said, The Lord is the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is your teacher. So, you are praying the grace to cooperate with the teachings of the Spirit, the grace to walk in the light of the Word, the grace to adhere to the instructions of the Word of God and the Spirit of God. By my cooperation with the Word of God, I am experiencing greatness in all areas of my life. The name of the Lord Jesus, the grace, the energy, the empowerment to adhere to the teachings of the Word, and the teachings of the Spirit of God, to the instructions and the guidance of the Spirit of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, lift your voice and let's pray that prayer. That you are not God. Hey, one that gun that I'm on our day, my man, one to under the man, day, my man, one that gun that I'm on our day. Hey, one that gun that I'm on our day, my man. I want to under the middle of a day, Baba. I want that come to the middle of a day, Baba. Isaiah chapter 54, the verse number 13. He said, All your children will be taught by the Lord. This morning we receive the teachings, the instructions, and the guidance of the Spirit of God in all areas of our lives. You want to engage the Holy Ghost and say, Spirit of God, teach me, teach me in all areas of my life. Show me what to do. I am ready to follow. Follow your instructions and your guidance that will result in the greatness of my peace, the greatness of my joy, the greatness of my marriage, the greatness of my destiny that will result in the greatness of my life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Isaiah chapter 48, the verse number 12. Rem no shedei baba. I want to under the middle of day baba. Rem the middle of day baba. Isaiah 48. I want I come the middle of day baba. The verse number 17, I think. I want I come the middle of day. Yeah, the Isaiah 48, verse 17. He said, Thou sayest the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit. The Lord is our teacher he is our guide the lord is our instructor i am the one that teaches you to profit and i'm the one that leads you in the way you should go and in isaiah chapter 54 where we are praying in the verse number 13 he said all thy children shall be taught of the lord teach us holy ghost teach us in our businesses in our finances in our marriages in all areas of our lives as you are praying the prayer you need to be sensitive because the holy ghost will be responding then it will be showing you what to do it will be giving you ideas guidance directions i want you to be sensitive prayer is 
it's not a monologue it's a dialogue it's a communication between you and your father your father will respond when you pray in the name of the lord jesus the grace to comply with the instructions of the word and to live with the word of god in the name of the lord jesus christ we receive the teachings of the spirit of god empower us this morning with your wisdom and your understanding and your grace that lord we shall work with your word in the name of jesus we pray for divine direction and your guidance and your wisdom that you will grant us the revelation and the understanding to be able to work with the instructions of your word you are the spirit of teacher you are the one that teaches us and communicates your word to us in the name of jesus we ask for your guidance and your wisdom and your direction that you will communicate your word to us you said you are the lord that teaches us to profit and you show us where to go in the name of jesus we ask for your guidance oh god the teachings of the lord in the name of jesus i pray this morning oh god that by your spirit you will guide us that you will teach us oh god in the name of jesus the lord is the spirit and the spirit of god is our teacher by the power of the holy ghost i pray this morning oh god that you will lead us that you will guide us that you will teach us oh god with your wisdom and with your precepts and with your knowledge that we shall function with the knowledge of your word in the name of the lord jesus you want to come that i'm in our day baba you want to run that i'm in our day baba run the gun that i'm in our day baba you want to run that i'm in our day baba the manifestations of our corporations with your word he said great shall be the peace of our children in the name of jesus our children will work with the knowledge of the word of god with the understanding of the word of god in the name of the lord jesus we ask oh god for your guidance we ask for your teachings in the name of jesus and you made a promise to us that when the spirit of truth is come it will teach us all things it will lead us in the way we should go we are dependent oh god on your guidance and your spirit in the name of jesus it is written oh god that we should trust in the lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding in all our ways we acknowledge him and you will direct our path this morning we are sensitive to the direction of your guidance to the direction of your spirit in the name of jesus Alive, a party, a 
Thank you, Lord. Let's move to the verse number 14. Isaiah 54, the verse number 14. Now, this is a prophecy by the prophet Isaiah. Then he said, In righteousness, thou shalt be established. Our establishment is in our righteousness consciousness. And I told you that righteousness is the nature of God we receive. The day we got born again. That is called righteousness. Righteousness is who God is. God is a righteous God. Righteousness is the nature of God. That is imparted to the man that is born again and has received Christ as his Lord and Savior. Anybody that does not believe in Christ. Anybody that is not born again is not righteous. Righteousness is the nature you receive in Christ. Righteousness is God's nature imparted to the new creation. He said, in righteousness, thou shalt be established. Then he said, thou shalt be far from oppression. You shall be far from oppression. In righteousness, you will be established. Then you will be far from oppression. The oppressor is the devil. In Acts chapter 10, the verse number 38, Acts 10, 38, the scripture says that how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. The devil is the oppressor. But the Bible says that the antidote or the cure to oppression is to be established in righteousness. That when a believer is established in righteousness, the believer is not permitted to be oppressed by the devil. He said, in righteousness, you will be established and you will be far from oppression. 
What a blessing. You will be far from oppression. What a blessing. You will be far from oppression. Lift your right hand. Say by the revelation of the word of God. I am far from oppression. The name of the Lord Jesus. My health is far from oppression. By the revelation of the word of God. My destiny is far from oppression. The name of the Lord Jesus. Say I declare this morning. That my family. We are far from oppression. The devil cannot oppress any area of my life. The name of the Lord Jesus. I am established in righteousness I am established in the consciousness of my righteousness the name of the Lord Jesus I am far from oppression I am far from oppression I reject every form of oppression the name of the Lord Jesus say my health cannot be oppressed my destiny cannot be oppressed my children cannot be oppressed the name of the Lord Jesus I am far from oppression and you are going to prophesy that I am established in righteousness I am established in righteousness if you read first John chapter 3 the verse number 7 first John chapter 3 the verse number 7 the Bible says that he that doeth righteousness is righteous he said my little children don't be deceived he that doeth righteousness is righteous so when you receive the nature the nature is is your personality the nature is who you are that nature empowers you to be able to live right that nature empowers you to be able to act right that nature empowers you to be able to do the right thing that are acceptable in the sight of God so we are going to pray this morning that Lord as I am established in righteousness I prophesy the grace to manifest righteousness in all my endeavors the grace to manifest righteousness in my thoughts in my speech and in my actions the grace to manifest righteousness in my thoughts in my speech and in my actions the name of the Lord Jesus the energy to manifest righteousness in all areas of my life the enablement the empowerment to walk in righteousness i am established in righteousness i am manifesting righteousness walking in righteousness i am doing righteousness in all areas of my life the name of the lord jesus lift your voice as we pray that prayer I want I come that I'm in a I want I come that I'm in a I want to run that I'm in a day, Baba. I want I come that I'm in a day, Baba. We are praying the word of God in Isaiah 54, the verse number 14. He said, In righteousness thou shalt be established, and thou shalt be far from oppression. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are taking roots in righteousness. We are being established in righteousness. Ram no shedei, Baba. I want to run that I'm in a day, Baba. I pray for Josephine Quenza. I pray, oh God, over the life of Mohammed. I pray for Rachel Joseph. I pray for Perez. I pray for Nana Texan. I pray for Ayura in the name of Jesus. You are manifesting righteousness in all areas of your life by the revelation of the word of God. I pray for Shelley. I pray for Boachewa. Ejewa Amapreko. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The empowerment of the Spirit of God that will enable you to walk in righteousness. I pray for Buedo. I pray for Gloria. I pray for Sinewa. Rachel Lai. I pray for Nestina. In the name of Jesus. I want to come to the middle of day, Baba. I want to run to the middle of day, Baba. I run to the middle of day, Baba. I want to run to the middle of day. For the law, if you I pray for butter, I pray, oh God, for Agatha in the name of the Lord Jesus. The energy to walk in righteousness, the grace to manifest righteousness. You want to run the middle of the 
flesh in righteousness. We are walking in righteousness. In the name of the Lord Jesus, lift your voice and declare that you are far from oppression. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that your family is far. You are far from oppression. Thou sayest the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Radashana, and you are twenty minutes alive. Apania, twenty minutes alive. And you are twenty minutes alive. Apania, twenty minutes alive. And you are twenty minutes alive. And when they come, they are twenty minutes alive. Radashana, and you are twenty minutes alive. Any power, any human personality that is acting as an oppressor against any area of the believers in the name of the Lord Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost we command the hand of God to strike them now in the name of the Lord Jesus I pray this morning the Bible says there is no peace for the wicked in the name of the Lord Jesus Radishana you are twenty minutes alive at Haria Righteousness, you will be established. The resulting effect is that you will be far from oppression. Far from oppression. Oppression is an instrument of the devil. The devil uses it to oppress people, oppress different areas of your life. The devil has agents he's using to oppress people. My God. Sometimes they come to challenge your belief. They come to challenge your faith. Sometimes they come to challenge your convictions. They are oppressors. But this morning I make a decree that any oppressor sent from the pit of hell against any area of your life today, the power of God arrest them now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I prophesy there shall be no oppression in any area of your life. Your health will not be oppressed. Your home will not come under oppression. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are far from oppression. Somebody shout and say, I am far from oppression. Thank you, Father. We are reading the verse 14 into the verse 15. Isaiah 54. He said, In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression. For you shall not fear. Oh, somebody shout and say, I will not fear. Scream it louder, say, I shall not fear. Then he said, For you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. There are things which will never come near you by eternal decree. Terror will never come near you, my God. It will not come near you. It will not come near you. Terror will not come near you. Terror will not come near you. Look at the verse 15. It said, Indeed, they shall surely gather, but not of me. 
whoever gathers against you they shall scatter for your sake now this is not my word oh. this is the word of god this is the eternal declaration of heaven whether you believe it or not it doesn't change anything when you even even if you don't believe it that is your own matter this is the word of god the bible says that they shall surely gather the gatherings of the enemy is allowed but their end is a scattering for they shall surely gather but not of god for they that gather and assemble against you they shall scatter and they shall fall for your sake you are going to pray the way. Sometimes you may not know. I'm telling you, you may not know. As we are praying on radio now, there are people who will be gathering somewhere thinking that, what do we do to make this program? What do we do to destroy it? How do we invade this program to destroy it? They could be gathering somewhere and conspiring. Somebody could be sitting somewhere and be wondering that what how do I get into this program? How, how do I create uh, this this discontent and how do I create confusion into this program? That is a gathering. Sometimes you are going to work and come somebody sitting somewhere and saying that how do I frustrate this lady? That is a gathering. He said they shall surely gather, but there is an end result for them. They shall scatter. They shall fall for your sake. You are going to pray that whatever represents the gathering of the enemy against any area of my life, by the eternal declaration of the word of God, today, before they expire, before they expire, they scatter the name of the Lord Jesus. They scatter every gathering against any area of my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Scatter now. Scatter now. The name of the Lord Jesus. Scatter now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The name of the Lord Jesus. Scatter, scatter, scatter. Scatter now. The name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. They shall surely gather, gathered against you in the office, gathered against your destiny, gathered against your family. They shall surely gather, but those who gather against you, Madagada, Sadagadaba, he said, They shall scatter, they shall fall. As for the gathering, it is allowed, but their end result is their scattering and their falling. You cannot gather against the church and stand there. You cannot arise against the word of God and stand. You're a damn liar. Your end has come. Your end has come. The Bible says they shall surely gather, but not of God. They that gather against us, they shall scatter. Lift your voice and pray. No gathering will ever stand against my children. No gathering will stand against my destiny. The word of God says that it will not stand. They shall scatter. No gathering will stand against any area of my life. I may not know where they are gathering, but the Bible says they shall surely gather, not of God. They that gather against us, they shall scatter, they shall fall. That is the word of God. That is the eternal declaration of the Spirit of God. And you are enforcing the word of God. Every gathering against any area of our lives, you are commanding them to 
to scatter the name of the Lord Jesus. You are commanding them to scatter by the power of the Holy Ghost. And they delegate the Sunday Pradia, the Tony Masando Kedabaga, the Rekade Shanda Menawata, and you want to under the Menawata, Baba, and the gathering against the church, against the kingdom, against the citizens, against the people of God, and Madogada, we come by the word of the Lord this morning, we scatter them in the name of the Lord Jesus, and the gathering against the saints, against the people of God. You may not know where they are gathering, but the word of God says they shall surely gather, but not of God. And they that gather against us, they shall scatter, they shall fall for our sake. For our sake, lift your voice. Ragesha. Ganabazanda, Imado Shade Gadabagada, Rendo Sede Baba, and you want to come to the Menawata, and you want to come to the Menawata Baba, and Ram de Menawata Baba, and you want to come to the Menawata Baba, and Ram de Menawata Baba, and you want to come to the Menawata Baba, and you want to come to the Menawata, and Lai Bakari and Wanda come to the Menawata, and you want to come to the Menawata, and Lai Bakari, and Ram de Menawata Baba. And lift your voice and pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. And lift your voice and make the decree prophesy by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Your portion. You want to under the Menawata. Lie Bakaria. Run the Menawata. Babar one to the end. I come to the Menawanda. Lie Bakaria. Run the Menawata. Babar. Shari and what they babar. Run the Menawata. Establish the word, pray the word in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift your voice and make that decree by the Spirit of the Living God. In the demonic gathering, regulation, in the human gathering, by the Spirit of God, we declare a scattering according to the word of God. The name of the Lord Jesus, a scattering, a scattering, a scattering. Yeah, you are, yeah. 
Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. There is a young man that is listening to me now. You know, you just, you just, you know, just encountered a page on Facebook. You just encountered it. And you are wondering whether this thing is true or not. You have so many doubts in your mind. And you are wondering whether this thing called Jesus, is it real or not? I want to tell you that Jesus is real. He is real. And the Lord has given you a lot of room to repent. Your time is running out. I'm telling you. Receive Jesus now and secure your eternal destiny. It's real. Somebody share the page on Facebook. Click on share. Click on share. Can I make a declaration this morning? Hear the word of the Lord. Whatever is making you sad, today it is destroyed now. Any power that is sponsoring sadness, sponsoring sorrow in any area of your life, the power scatters now. The power is destroyed now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, prophesy over your life any power that is making you fear the future that is making you fear the future that is making you wonder whether it will happen or not the power is destroyed now in the name of the lord jesus any power that is creating fear in your heart that is making you sad i prophesy by the power of the holy ghost Arrested now in the name of the Lord Jesus. From today, I establish the joy of the Lord in your heart. I establish the joy of the Lord in your soul. I establish the joy of the Lord in your destiny. You will not lose your joy in the name of Jesus. I prophesy any power that is making you anxious, creating anxiety in any area of your life. The power is broken now in the name of the Lord Jesus. No more anxiety, no more anxiousness. The name of Jesus. Somebody shout fire. Now hear me as I hear God. I said hear me as I hear God. I don't know how many people are listening to me now. But I can see almost a thousand people on Facebook. As for radio, I cannot count. But the Lord said, today is the 31st of March. There are 31 people listening to me now. 31 people. Today, the 31st of March, the Lord is releasing good news into your life. There is a release. I'm, I'm not talking tomorrow. I said today, the 31st of March, there are 31 people listening to me. The Lord is releasing good news into your life. There is a manifestation of good news in your life. There is a release of good news into your life. And today, the 31st of March, before we cross over into next month, you are stepping into next month with good news. You are stepping into next month
want with celebration every prayer request every prayer point it shall become your celebration instrument in the name of the lord jesus in my the last day of this month of march i prophesy any testimony that must come your way before you step into next month it is delivered to you now it is released to you now in the name of the lord jesus i prophesy that before the day goes to an end they shall congratulate you you shall be congratulated in the name of the lord jesus i prophesy before today gets to the end the letter you are expecting the favorable response you are expecting it is coming to you speedily without any form of delay in the name of jesus listen to me today will be your best sales from january to march today will be your best sales i said you shall make the most sales today you shall make the most sales today you shall make the most sales today you shall receive the most sales today the name of the lord jesus somebody shout amen three times me as I hear God. Any power that says that you will hear bad news today before you cross over into next month. That power is destroyed now. My name is P.K.F. I said hear me as I hear God. Any power that says that you will hear bad news today and cross into next month in sorrow. That power is destroyed now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There shall be no disappointments today. There shall be no disappointments today. There shall be no disappointments today. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Your day is blessed. Your day is favored. 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 In the name of Jesus, shout amen three times. Oh, thank you, Father. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Please lift your voice and exhort the name of the Lord. Oh, Kindly go ahead and bless the Lord. Oh, just go ahead and exhort the Lord. 
Wow, somebody just sent a testimony. Uh, so let me read it. Okay, we're going to get into the word. They said, uh, God bless you, PKF. I have a testimony. There is this job at a reputable company I've been praying for. I went for the first interview. I didn't get a position. Then I was called again for another interview for a new position. Some weeks later, I got a message to come for another interview concerning that position. PKF, I was very happy and I kept confessing that I have the job in the name of Jesus. I went for the third interview last week and to the glory of God, I was called yesterday that I have the position. PKF, I don't know what to say. I am so thankful to God because of this opportunity. He has come. He has come at the right time for me. Indeed, God is a prayer answering God and he knows what is good for his children. God bless you, PKF, for all the prayer direction. It's really helped me to God alone be all the glory wow oh what a blessing ah hear me as I hear God I prophesy as our sister has received the miracle job in the name of the Lord Jesus miracle businesses are released miracle promotions are released miracle healings are released miracle jobs are released miracle conceptions are released whatever will take a miracle for your joy to be fulfilled today that miracle is established now that miracle is manifesting now in the name of the Lord Jesus I prophesy over your life whatever will take a miracle for your expectations to be fulfilled I make a decree by the God whose I am and whom I serve in the name of the Lord Jesus there is an outbreak of miracles in the name of Jesus somebody shout I receive it Wow. Wow. <laughs> glory to God. Somebody shout and say glory. Glory. Oh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, it's centered on your grace. Adum. 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 There's another testimony here. He said, hello, PKF, it's amazing how this God works. He does it beyond human imagination. You declared 31 days of signs and wonders in the month of March. Though I believed in the prophecy, I didn't know where and how it was going to happen. Also, you said we shouldn't close our mouths, and I did it with seriousness. Miraculously, I experienced a wonderful gift that blew my mind, still blowing, and sometimes I think it's a dream. I believe with all my heart it's a stepping stone for bigger, better, and greater things ahead. I give God all the glory. God bless you in all areas. Who say God no day? He day, pa. Ah, 31 days of signs and wonders. Today is the last day. I prophesy that any wonder that must take place in your life before April, today, it is manifesting now. The signs that must happen before you enter into the month of April, that sign is released into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, can I prophesy that today is your day of signs and wonders? I didn't say this month, I said today, it is the last day of the prophetic window of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, atmosphere of victory, I prophesy somebody's receiving a wonder, a wonder, somebody's receiving a sign in the name of the Lord Jesus, receive it today, let today be a day of divine surprises, let today be a day of divine favor, let today be a day of open doors, let today be a day of good news, in the name of the Lord Jesus, any programming 
comes from the pit of hell against any area of your life today it returns back to the senders the name of jesus your day is blessed i said your day is blessed i said your day is blessed i said your day is blessed your day is favored in the name of jesus somebody shout i receive it now please listen to me i understand that sometimes it's difficult and challenging it's a reality i know but you see there is no option outside god there is no option now you are leaving god to go to who you are leaving Jesus to go to who? There is no option outside Jesus. Ah. The grace not to give up. The energy not to give up. The strength to hold on. The grace not to give up. The energy not to give up. The grace to continuously continue. The grace to continuously endure. Agadaba. I declare that grace is injected into you now. The name of Jesus. Shout and say, I believe. Oh, thank you, Lord. So let's get into the way. Oh, Holy Ghost. Ah, God damn can I prophesy? The song is doing me so. Listen, today, by the end of today, you will sing a new song. Ah, listen to the prophetic word. I said, by the end of today, God will make you sing a new song. You will dance a dance of testimony. You will celebrate the celebration of wonders. I said, by the end of today, you will sing a new song. You will dance a glorious dance. You will celebrate a celebration. The name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout and receive it. Centered on your praise. Thank you, Father. So let's get into the word. Yesterday we began to expound the word of God and we began to understand the power of the blood of Jesus. Yesterday we began to understand that blood has a voice. That in as much as the blood of Abel is crying vengeance, according to Genesis chapter 4, the verse number 10, the blood of Jesus is crying mercy for you and I. And please, we want to appropriate 
everything that Christ came to do, the things he suffered, and its benefits to you and I, and how we can apply the principles to our daily lives. And I want you to turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9. The verse number 12. 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 We are going to read the verse number 12 and then the verse number 13. Then we'll read the verse number 22. Hebrews chapter 12, the verse number, Hebrews chapter 9, the verse number 12, 13, and then 22. And I read, not with the blood of goats and calves, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, he entered the most holy place once for all having obtained eternal redemption i want you to please look at the scripture the bible says that not with the blood of goats and calves that is talking about the kind of sacrifices that were made under the new or the old covenant the sacrifices that were made by the high priest under the old covenant the high priest will carry the blood of animals into the holiest of holy and once the high priest offers the blood of the animal on the mercy seat the sins of israel for the year is covered it is atoned for but the bible is just opposing what christ came to do as against what was done in the old covenant and so he's saying that look this man did not use the blood of goats and calves but he used his own blood and entered the most holy place once for all the high priest in the days of old under the old covenant used to enter the most holy place once a year he entered there once a year for all but jesus entered there once for all why because the high priest under the old covenant used to obtain yearly redemption but jesus came to obtain eternal redemption that is why i told you that the death that jesus died he died for all he died to save the sin he paid the price the absolute complete price that justice required he paid the complete total price for the redemption of the world for the remission of the sin of the world so number one in this scripture you can clearly see that we are not saved by the blood of animals we are saved by the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the receipt that shows the price that was paid for our redemption we are saved by the blood of jesus then number two we have eternal redemption eternal salvation our salvation is not an annual salvation our salvation is an eternal salvation he has obtained eternal redemption eternal redemption our salvation is an eternal is an everlasting salvation Verse 13. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, which through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, cleanse our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Now he's saying that look, if the blood of animals can give the people a certain consciousness of redemption, that as far as the year is concerned, they are saying have been atoned for how much more the blood of jesus why do you have sin consciousness listen israel they had a certain consciousness that once the high priest had entered into the holiest of holy and offered the blood the whole year their sins were forgiven 
and 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 the, and, the, and the Bible is saying that look, if that kind of a blood can give people a certain consciousness that their sins have been forgiven the year, how much more the blood of Jesus, which was offered for you and I, it does not give us an annual consciousness of forgiveness. It must give us an eternal consciousness of forgiveness. Verse 22. Let's jump to verse 22. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. And I read. He said, and according to the law, almost all things are purified with, with blood. And without shedding of blood, there is no remission. Without shedding of blood, there is no remission. The basis for remission is the shedding of blood. And this principle was actually established right in the beginning. In the beginning, the principle was established right in the beginning. In the beginning, this principle was established right in the beginning. In the beginning, the principle of the blood was established. The principle of the shedding of blood was established right in the beginning. In the beginning, it was established. Revelation chapter 13, the verse number 8. 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 And who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of, of life of the Lamb. I want you to take notice of the lamp slain from the foundation of the world. The lamp slain from the foundation of the world. In the mind of God, Jesus was slain from the foundation of the world. Jesus was slain. Now listen, God is eternal, okay? God is omniscient. God is all-knowing. So God knoweth the past, the present, and the future. Because the past, the present, and the future is in the jurisdiction. It's in the parameters of God's knowledge. God is all-knowing. The Bible says that from the foundations of the world, the lamp was slain. So you remember that there was a principle established right in the garden. When man violated the law of God and then they sinned against divine order. The Bible says that an animal was killed. The innocent died for the guilty. That was a principle that was established. The animal was innocent. The animal was not part of uh, the people who ate the fruit. But God killed the animal and took the skin and covered human beings. So there was a principle that was established in the garden that the innocent died for for the guilty. The man and the woman, they were guilty. But God killed an innocent animal to actually save the man and the woman. And that principle was established. That is why Jesus the innocent came to die for you and I who were guilty. We were supposed to die, but Christ took our place because there was no way we could redeem ourselves. There was no way we could die to redeem ourselves from the hold of sin. We needed a savior. We, we needed one to redeem us. We needed one to pay the price for our rescue. We were slaves to sin. We needed somebody to pay the ransom for us to be delivered. And the price that was paid is the blood of Jesus. There is a certain consciousness you need to have, people of God. And that is what I'm talking about. The righteousness consciousness. I said one of the major challenges in the body of Christ all over the world is sin consciousness. We are too sin conscious. Sin consciousness will rob you of your inheritance in Christ. Sin consciousness will rob you of your inheritance in Christ. Sin consciousness will make you feel very guilty. Sin consciousness will will make you feel very inferior sin consciousness will make you feel very condemned sin consciousness will deprive you of the power of your faith sin consciousness will deprive you the abilities of god at work in you you always feel unworthy as if you need somebody to do something for you you always feel inadequate it is sin consciousness there is a consciousness you require that is called righteousness consciousness
Hebrews chapter 10, the verse number 4. Hebrews chapter 10, the verse number 4. Hebrews chapter 10, the verse number 4. Hebrews chapter 10. Is the temple okay? Those on Facebook, I see that you are doing a lot of notes. Is the temple okay? Is the temple okay? Those on the WhatsApp, is, are we okay? Thank you, Father. Hebrews chapter 10, the verse number 4. He said, For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. It is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. He says it's not possible. The only thing that could take away sin is the blood of Jesus. That is why in Christ we have what we call the remission. The remission. The blotting out. The remission. It is blotted out. It is erased. It is removed. The blood of bulls and goats provided atonement. It was a covering. The blood of Jesus provided remission. Please take note of the difference. Remission. It is blotted out. There are people who feel unforgiving. They feel they feel they have not been forgiven. They've, it's like a feeling, you know, you know. They feel like you know they have not been forgiven. Listen, it is not a feeling. I said it is not a feeling. It is a knowing. It is a consciousness. It is a knowledge. You must know that you have been forgiven. That your sins have been blotted out. It is not there. The one who is accusing you is called the devil. And you must understand that the weapon to silence the devil is the blood. The blood of Jesus. That every time the devil brings the sins back into your mind, it is called the good fight of faith. You tell the devil that, hey, the blood has wiped my sins. Immediately you shout the blood. Satan will take over because he's afraid of the blood of Jesus. The most powerful weapon given to us, the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus and the word of God and the Holy Spirit. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. You must engage the blood as a believer. The blood of Jesus. You don't wait until Easter then we talk about the blood. No. The essence of our living is based on the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. That is what enables us to develop righteousness, consciousness. That is what enables us to develop the mindset that we are born of God. And as a child of God, you must know it is not a feeling. You must know that God has blotted your sins away. He does not remember them. Let me say it. I said, God does not remember them. He does not. Hey, yeah. Righteousness, consciousness. Above all other gods, we lay you know, there is a strong word that the prophet Hosea spoke about in Hosea chapter 4, the verse number 6. Hosea chapter 4, the verse number 6. I'll be getting into details regarding the blood from tomorrow. Don't worry. Hosea chapter 4, the verse number 6. The prophet said, For lack of knowledge, my people are destroyed. Now, please understand that there are different kinds of knowledge, there are different dimensions of knowledge. There are different kinds of knowledge. Okay, I am in the studios of Joy FM. There is a knowledge I'm communicating with you now, which is called the knowledge of the word of God. It is a body of knowledge. But there is also a knowledge I am applying in the studios of Joy FM, which is an intellectual knowledge because I need to understand how the machines function. The understanding of the way the machines function has nothing to do with the word of God. The body of knowledge, which is the word of God, is separate from the knowledge of how the studio works. 
So you can have somebody who is not born again who can function in the studio because he has the knowledge of the way the equipments work. So the knowledge of the word is separate from the knowledge of the studio. If you are working in the banking sector or you are a medical doctor or you are a carpenter or you are into trading, there is a knowledge you require to be able to function in your profession. That is the knowledge you require. That knowledge is called gnosis. That is the way the Greek call it. You see, the English words is not rich enough to describe the different kinds of knowledge. So the English calls it knowledge. But the Greeks define it in different ways. So the intellectual knowledge, the scientific technological knowledge is called gnosis. That is the knowledge. And that knowledge is required if you have to be relevant on earth. There is a knowledge you require. As I'm sitting here now, I'm in the studios alone. The producer is in the production room and I am applying the knowledge of the way radio works in the studio and I'm also communicating the knowledge of the word of God to you so you can realize that there are two dimensional knowledge at work there is the knowledge of the word which I am preaching now and there is the knowledge I am applying in the studio which is helping me function well here also in the studio so Hosea says for lack of knowledge the people of God are destroyed not because the devil is powerful or the devil is strong it is a lack of knowledge he said because my people have rejected knowledge i've also rejected them please listen as a believer you must be an erudite in the word of god and also in your profession you must be a man and a woman who is knowledgeable knowledgeable listen to me the currency of trading in our generation is the currency of knowledge you must be knowledgeable knowledgeable i mean okay let me use this as an example okay with, with all humility god knows my heart with all humility i mean if i was sitting in the studios here at joy fm and i wasn't communicating relevant knowledge which is a blessing to you would you listen would you be tuning into the program every day there are over a thousand people on facebook there are thousands of people on radio i mean let's talk if i wasn't communicating then would you listen if the prayers were not based on knowledge would you listen if i was standing here and i was saying all manner of stuff and then that's all I'm doing here. It's not me back and one year. Oba Oba Bawa Oba Bo Mana Oba I mean if I was really into that you wouldn't listen because it does not appeal to you. Are you getting the point? It doesn't make meaning to you. So so it's important to understand that the currency that enables you to trade in all areas of your life is the currency of knowledge. You have to be an erudite. You have to be knowledgeable. Listen to me. Deception is in place when men lack the knowledge of the truth. Let me take it again. Deception can run rampage when men lack the knowledge of the truth. And with all humility and by the grace of God on my life, when it comes to the communication and the teaching and the interpretation of the word, with every humility I can mash up, I think I'm one of the best. Oh, I, oh yes, yes. Oh, oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> My God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We lay our crown. Come on. Thank you, Father. So there is a knowledge you require. And the knowledge we are talking about is the knowledge of righteousness. The consciousness of righteousness. You must be conscious of your righteousness nature. 
Now please listen to me. You remember in the garden of Gethsemane when the master began to pray in the garden of Gethsemane when the master began to pray you remember there was agony the master was troubled because for the first time the master Jesus was 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 going to partake of the nature of spiritual death so there was a lot of agony in the garden of Gethsemane he was going to take the place of man he was going to identify with the nature of the devil the nature of sin he was going to separate himself from the father for the first time now please listen look let me tell you something listen when you are a spiritual baby okay we can communicate to you that jesus is the son of god okay it's true but please listen jesus is god in flesh there is no jesus somewhere and god somewhere jesus is god in flesh the man who walked in israel he is the god that created the world he was the covenant partner of abraham but they didn't know he was the one that opened the red sea for them to go through but they didn't know he was the word that created the world but they didn't know this was eternity that has stepped into time and had put on human body and was living among men just like men but they didn't know so in the garden of gethsemane he was going to be separated from the father to partake of the nature of the devil that was the only way he could go to the cross and die for the remission of you and i our sins so you realize that there was a lot of battle he prayed and prayed and prayed but the will of god had to be done the will of god had to be established and sometimes in our own life when god is asking us to do something and your will is not comfortable you must understand that when you become born again it is not about your will it is about the will of god for your life it is about what god's had for your life it's about the intention of god for your life let me give you my final scripture then we are going to get into details tomorrow we are going to look at what happened in the garden of gethsemane what happened on the cross then we are going to look from next week what happened at the resurrection and how it applies to our lives so turn with me the final scripture for the morning is go with me to first corinthians chapter 15 the verse number 34 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the verse number 34. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 34. Please make sure you are writing the scriptures. Not that when we finish the teaching that you throw them somewhere. Feed on them. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the verse number 34. Is it 34? Yeah. 1 Corinthians 15, 34. It's a strong word. He said, Awake. Why do you tell somebody to awake? Then probably the person is sleeping or dozing or yawning. Awake. Awake to righteousness. And do not sin. You see, he didn't say, Do not sin and awake to righteousness. No. It is called the principle of first mention. He said, Look. Awake to righteousness. Be consciousness of your righteousness and you will not sin. The reason why you are sinning is because you are not conscious of your righteousness. So you are sleeping on your righteousness. You are not conscious of it. He said, awake to righteousness. Listen, awake to who you are in Christ. Awake that your sins have been taken away. Awake. Get awake. Get knowledge, knowledge about it. Get informed about it. When a man is sleeping, the man loses consciousness of his environment. When a man is sleeping, the man loses understanding of his environment. When you are sleeping, you don't know the happenings around your environment. The Bible says that don't sleep. Awake, 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 awake to righteousness. Awake to righteousness. He says that, look, when you tell your son, your daughter, awake and go and brush your teeth. That means get up and go and brush your teeth. The 
Bible says, awake to the knowledge of righteousness and you will not sin. Awake when you are awakening to the revelation and the knowledge of righteousness, you will not sin. When you are sleeping on the knowledge of righteousness, you will be sinning. Awake, awake to righteousness and do not sin. The consciousness of righteousness, the consciousness, the mindset, the mentality of righteousness. You are righteous. You are the righteousness of God. The nature of God is your nature. It has been established on legal grounds. The price has been paid. You are a bonafide child of God. You are born of God. You are righteous. The Bible says, awake, 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 awake. Oh. Some, somebody just woke up. Well, he, the person just woke up. Adasa, he just woke up. Awake, awake, awake. Awake to righteousness. Oh, I, I'm awakened. I said, I'm awakened to my righteousness consciousness. Awake, awake to righteousness and do not sin. He didn't say, do not sin and you will be righteous. No. You, 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 the knowledge of your righteousness and you will not sin. Listen to me. I don't have the knowledge of, I don't have the nature of a dog. So when I come to the studios, I cannot bark like a dog. If I had the nature of a dog, once I enter to the studio, what you will hear is, wow, 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 wow. Because that is the nature I possess. But because I have the nature of God and the nature of righteousness, I'm communicating with you the knowledge of God. The Bible says, awake to righteousness. Listen, awake. I will continue from here. How to stay awake. The Bible talks about a man going to sow a good seed whilst men slept. The enemy came to sow bad seeds. When you sleep in prayer, you are sleeping on your prayer life. Some of you are sleeping in your marriage. The days when you began the marriage, you were so active. You used to dress so nicely. Anytime your husband sees you, then your husband is chasing you. There were perfumes you were using all over. You were very much awake. And then what? Da, 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 da. The reason why your husband is running around is because you are sleeping. Awake, awake. I said awake people just came to the office and they have bypassed you you are sleeping that is why they are bypassed get my friend awake we'll continue from tomorrow well if you are sleeping and you don't know Jesus as your Lord I want you to awake and receive Christ as your Lord and Savior say Lord Jesus this morning thank you for dying for me I receive you as my Lord and Savior thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah the Lord bless you the Lord bless you Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Are you blessed this morning? I said we are developing a certain consciousness. It is called righteousness consciousness. Everything is about mindset. It's about consciousness. It's about mentality. Yeah. Glory to God. This one says, today is my birthday. What's your name? He said, happy birthday to my father-in-law, Mr. Ellis Paul Atigla. Happy birthday to your father-in-law. Uh, please, good morning. I'm testing Pastor Kujo Frimpo. Uh, yes. The Lord heal your brother in the intensive care unit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, yesterday we began our prophetic direction on koinonia. The drinking of the blood. Awesome. We are continuing today. The drinking of the blood. You cannot miss it. It's been a while. 
Oh, it's been a while. I said this is my office. <laughs> oh, we give God praise. Yeah, my name is PKF, and this is my office. Yeah. Good morning, Pastor. My name is Mawufemo Agbavito from Sogakope. And I'd like you to pray for me that God should uh, bless and establish my territory. Mawufemo, as you have declared, I decree this established in the name of Jesus. Good morning, PKF. I love you. Why? My, my name is uh, my name my name is uh, I'm Venkins. Okay, I love you too. I love you, Pa. God bless you. Happy birthday to your husband Henry Abeku Edu from Mrs. Sabina Edu. Today is uh, my birthday. My name is Jennifer. God bless you, Jennifer. Glorious birthday to you as well. Keep declaring it. I am righteous. I am the righteousness of God. That is who I am. Awake. Awake to righteousness. Awake. <laughs> well, happy first birthday to John Monai. May the favor of God surround you like a shield from your parents. Oh, Philip and Michaela Nye and your brother royalty. We love you. Wow. Jomo is one year. The Lord bless. Ah, Jomo. More Jobo. More grace, more wisdom, more favor. Excel. Your star will not be covered. The name of Jesus. Oh, it's your eighth wedding anniversary. Noel and Na. Uh, the Lord bless your marriage. Increase the love of your marriage. The Lord bless your marriage. Wow, more money, more favor, more opportunities. The name of Jesus. Good morning, PK. Please pray for my mother. She's constantly going through attacks of sickness. We reverse that attack. We command the health of your mother to be established. The name of Jesus. All right, all right. My friend and king, anointed one, most holy. So time is exactly four o'clock. Okay. The Lord bless you. And uh, Pastor Mike, right? Is coming with joy, time in his presence. Bishop Atuakwa, I greet you. <laughs> okay, let's let me do this one. Wishing Reverend Titus Kote a blissful birthday. All right, so Reverend Titus Kote, the Lord bless you. So we're going to catch up on Koinonia this afternoon. Make sure you get your cup of blood. Explosive. Lord bless you. Happy birthday to Caleb. There was a final birthday I was seeing, but... Happy birthday to your twin nephews, Joshua and Caleb Osaikufi. They are 25 today. All right, this is from uh, your auntie, Efia. The Lord bless them. So I'm, I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Keep your doubts locked up here. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning. We love you. Amen.